One of those girls' basketball teams has a streak of their own going, and two of the top teams in the track are meeting tonight, and this is a matchup that has spoiled us all season yeah. long, and we're ready for round two as we head on out to Fremont Ross, a must-win for the Little Giants on their home floor to have a shot at the track title hosting Central Catholic first quarter. Mary Ellis in the corner lets it fly back-to-back -back triples for the Irish the Central. Out to a six-point lead later, Karma Johnson. Nice cut back door, nice finish, the Little Giants. Back on top by one. Second quarter, Brooklyn Vaughn with the defensive board. The junior all alone goes coast to coast, spins and scores. The Irish down one, 34-33 at the half. In the third, Janiah Holmes with the rebound. Kicks it out to Destiny Robinson from downtown, 42-35. Little Giants in front. Under a minute to go in the third, Robinson the steal gives it to Johnson and gets it right back. A five-point lead for Fremont Rawson. In the fourth quarter, they completely take over. Holmes goes back door, give her 10 points on the night, and it's a two-game or two-possession game. Lindy Wolf with the easy lay-in seals it, and they are feeling it in Fremont. The Little Giants hand Central Catholic their first track loss, 62-49 the final. Fremont Ross within one game in the standings with the win. I think our game plan, we executed it very well, and we kept our composure all game long, and our competitive nature just kind of took over at the end. It was lovely. I mean, coaches did our job to, you know, have the game plan, and we changed some things uh, from the first game, um, and our girls executed perfectly. Whenever we're on the same page, uh, it's a fun, fun, fun game, and uh, I'm just I'm excited that the girls executed. They, they did well, and uh, especially here at home. Brad Wozniki and Rep Boy join us with more from Fremont Ross. We have seen plenty of good basketball this season. Tonight we saw great basketball. A three-point game going into the fourth quarter. This could have gone either way, but down the stretch, the way Fremont Ross was able to execute, that was on display. It was on display, and you give a lot of credit to Coach Juan Vale and his coaching staff. He's got a trio of players that played a lot of basketball with one another over the last couple of years. They've had their ups, they've had their downs, but you built for moments like this. And when the game was on the line in crunch time, they relied on that experience. They executed at a high level. You need to if you're going to win a big game, especially in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference against a team like Central Catholic. They did it here tonight. They earned it. It's a big victory for this club. And two of the best guards around we saw going at it all night long. Destiny Robinson finishes with a game-high 28 points, 18 in the second half. Cornia Clay led Central Catholic with 18. At both ends of the floor, this was a back-and-forth battle between these two guards. Elite, elite play out of the two-point guards for the respective clubs. Cornia Clay was outstanding for Central Catholic, but it was Destiny Robinson in early in this ball game, setting the tone with her energy and her sense of urgency. She came out looking to score. She knocked down the mid-range. She knocked down the three. And as she gained confidence, it just opened up things for everybody else, specifically their high-low game with Janiya Holmes on the inside. Coach Vail did a great job of clearing out the backside. You got Dusty Robinson, elbow extended, Janiya Holmes over the top. It was, a, it was a great ball game by Dusty Robinson, but what she did early set up everything else late for this little giant ball club. Great job by her here tonight. Great job by the team as a whole. And this win for Fremont Ross snaps Central Catholic's 14-game winning streak and gives the Irish their first track loss. Fremont Ross now just a game back, but Central Catholic knows they control their own destiny. Yeah, they do, and that's what Coach Erica Haney, when you go in the locker room, you know, you're disappointed you didn't win, but you're not maybe disappointed. You're not disappointed in how you played. Now, when you look at it, you know, in the big picture, everything that you want for your club, everything you want to accomplish in terms of goals for your club, everything's still in front of you. You learn from this, you turn the page, you move on tomorrow and get ready for your next opponent. If they handle their business down the stretch, they're going to win a track championship. Two of the top teams in Northwest Ohio went at it tonight, gave us that postseason feel. Central Catholic and Fremont Ross was a track showdown tonight.